Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Habiba and this is Trekking Pals. A couple of days ago, the company GoPro announced the release of their new GoPro Hero 9 Black and we made a video talking about the key features of this camera. But in this video today, we're going to do a comparison of the GoPro Hero 9 Black and the 8 Black. And joining us today is our friend Diane from Recreation Outside Las Vegas. She's going to get us started with a review of the GoPro Hero 8 Black and then from there, we'll do a comparison of both cameras and towards the end we are going to be answering the question whether it's worth upgrading from the 8 to the 9. And with that I will pass it over to our friend Diane who's going to get us started with a review of the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Hi my name is Diane and this is Recreation Outside Las Vegas. I create videos about hiking, exploring and camping near the Las Vegas area but I also travel around Nevada, Arizona, California, Utah and sometimes even beyond. The GoPro Hero 8 is the best investment that I've made for having a YouTube channel, but even if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would love to have this to document my adventures. The reason why I purchased the GoPro Hero 8 is because of this thing called the Media Mod, and what the Media Mod is, is it's a case that goes over the GoPro. All right, so I put the media mod on there for you that so that you could see. Now it does look a lot bulkier now. If you notice the back, there's a lot of options here to plug in a USB-C, an external mic, and some other options. There's also shoes on the top and on the side. So what these shoes would do is you can actually plug in an external light. You can put an external mic on the top of this and eventually they are making a, a screen that would flip up so it would be easier to do the vlogging. You could see yourself. So that was actually one of the main reasons why I bought this. The Media Mod also has a microphone that is attached to the Media Mod. It's inside so the microphone that is part of the Media Mod is just incredible. It is a lot better than the microphone that is on the GoPro. However, the GoPro microphone works just as well. One of the, the things that I really like the most about the GoPro Hero 8 is the display or the, the functions menu. It's really easy to just scroll through and get what you need and then you just click on there and you can determine what resolution you want. It's easy to just go in, select, and then get to filming, which is really important when you have an adventure going on, you know? You don't wanna stop and have to figure out what you're doing, scroll through a million things, and then just try to figure out what you're doing. But I think that the display is really easy to read and very user-friendly. Image stabilization is just incredible. I don't think that I could ever go back to just using my phone, which had pretty good image stabilization. And that is it for my review of the GoPro Hero 8. I wanna thank Habiba and Alex for inviting me to do this review. I really did like doing that. It made me just sit down and think about what I really do appreciate in the GoPro Hero 8. So. Alrighty, thank you for having me. Thank you, Diane, for joining us today and thank you for sharing all this great information. Alright, so I am going to the GoPro website right here and I really like the fact that they allow you to compare up to three cameras at the same time. So up on my screen here, I've got the Hero 9 Black and I've got the Hero 8 Black. So we'll compare the main or key features. If we look at the photos, the new camera has photo capability of 20 megapixel compared to 12 megapixel. And well, that means that you're going to get better photo quality with the new camera, but really depends on whether you are using this camera to take photos or to take videos. For me personally, I rarely use it to take photos, so that really does not matter, uh, but it might be important for some other people. Now let's compare the video capability. The classic Hero 8 Black allows you to take video footage at 4K 60 frames per second versus 5K 30 frames per second with the Hero 9 Black, which means better quality for your footage, especially if you have to do some zoom in when you are editing or cropping, it's going to preserve the quality of your footage. But is it really necessary? 
mm, I think that the 4K is already doing a great job and I've been personally satisfied with the 4K quality. And that takes us to the next feature that I like here is the video stabilization. For the video stabilization, the hyper smooth feature is available in the three cameras. The Hero 8 Black had a 2.0 version, but it seems like right now with the new camera has a hyper smooth of 3.0, which means if you are doing some heavy shaky activity when you are using your camera, you are definitely looking for a hyper smooth capability, which the new camera offers. Uh, let's see the front screen again the Hero 8 Black has a status only screen this screen only allows you to see some basic information uh, versus the new live preview on the Hero 9 Black which is a great feature you will be able to look at yourself when you are filming see what's going on crop and check the frame and make sure that everything is good so that you don't have any surprises when you are editing and that takes us to the question, is it worth upgrading from the 8 to the 9? If you do have some extra cash to spare, why not go for it? You will definitely get a better quality when it comes to photos and videos. If I personally had the 8, I would not upgrade immediately to the 9. I would wait to see what the next product looks like. I, for example, have the 7. I've been using it for a couple of years right now. I didn't want to jump into the 8 until I see what's coming up next. And I think it's probably the right time for me to upgrade to the 9. Now, the 8 itself is a great camera like Diane was talking about earlier so you can customize it add additional accessories the quality of the footage at 4k is really great stabilization and it is a good camera it's easy to use it's lightweight i can go anywhere with this even on the longest hikes i don't really have to worry about weight with the gopro hero 8 Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it to be useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We are Trekking Pals, Habiba and Alex, amateur hikers and backpackers. We create videos about hiking, backpacking and adventure traveling. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you very soon on a new adventure. Bye.